When a mammoth man Yeah When a mammoth man Yeah When a mammoth man wants something He gets it Oh yeah When a mammoth man Yeah When a mammoth man Yeah When a mammoth man wants something He gets it Oh yeah Let's see what else is on. Everyone thinks fame and fortune makes life easier. Newsflash, it doesn't. I don't wear shoes. <gasps> Here's where my trouble began. Ever since that commercial aired, my career's been a toilet. And it's all the shoes' fault. I spent months doing research for my role as shoeless man number one. Hours upon hours of caffeine and meditation. But for what? So some two pound hunk of raccoon skin can hog all my glory? I'm sure being recognized for something you're proud of is rewarding. I wouldn't know. All anyone wants to talk about when they see me is the shoe. What is it like to work with a shoe? I bet he's funny. Is he funny? What's his favorite candy? Does he like candy? Sometimes I stare at the sun for hours and wonder, what could have been? What if I didn't take the role? I'm sure I would have been a lot happier and a lot less drunk. Is that shoeless man number two? Man, he really let himself go. Shoeless man number one! Always number one! So what if people stare? I entertained them for countless minutes with my gift. Whether they want to admit it or not, I was the star, not the shoe. Let this be a lesson to you aspiring actors out there. Don't be like me. I was young and desperate for attention. Just when you think you've made it, there's always a shoe waiting to kick you to the curb. Wow, you walk surprisingly fast for someone your size. Yeah, and that's how I discovered a healthy alternative to gasoline. I know, right? Wait, what? Hey there. Hey, I'm gonna call you back. Uh, what are you doing? I'm um, taking a seat. There's enough for both of us. <laughs> uh, no. You see, there is no room here for lawbreakers. What do you mean? Hello, you're in clear violation of the gender doctrine. The gender what? The gender doctrine? It prohibits men and women from sharing a seat without permission. I've never heard of such a thing. Your lack of the knowledge of the law sickens me. I just want to take a seat. <sighs> okay, look. Maybe you can sit with me, but you're going to have to fill out a form. Fine. Here you go. Let's see. Yeah, all day enough, this is the form. Uh, don't forget, you're gonna have to sign on that other page, too. Alright. Where do you see? Alright. Alright, cool. So, with that being said, a uh, certified representative will be with you shortly. I hope she's easier to deal with than you are. Hello, sir. Were you expecting someone else? Um... What's going on? <sighs> Let the process begin. So, I see you're interested in taking a seat with a woman, right? <sighs> Come on, is this, is this a joke? The law has no sense of humor, sir. Answer the question. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is it also true that you sat without permission? Uh, yeah. Mm. Naturally. Uh... Okay, I'd like to speak to the witness, please. 
Well, I was having a beautiful conversation with my friend before that nuisance arrived and started to yell at us. Continue. With a rage in his eyes, he demanded we leave the table or else. Or else what? I don't know, I, I left the scene before he can get his hands on me too. <laughs> that is not what happened. One more outburst from you and I'll throw this case out the window. Hush it. After much deliberation, I've come to a conclusion. May the accused please stand. I'm already standing. Mr. Mann, where I come from, we lock up scumbags like you and never look back. The fact that your type still roams my earth makes me nauseous. Your actions are inexcusable, and you deserve the worst punishment possible. But, since you're a first time offender, you're free to go. Thank you, Texas legal system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can sit down now if you want. Thank you, Judge. Mm -hmm. You are too kind. Mm -hmm. uh, now, aren't you glad we got that out of the way? Did you just touch me without permission? Uh-oh. Thanks, Katie. I'm standing here in front of what is being called the greatest hotspot to ever open up in the history of this small town. That's right. I'm talking about the tree. If a tree-themed restaurant opens up in the middle of nowhere, will people go? The answer is... Yes! People have been waiting in line for hours just to gain access to the tree. Now we've heard all the hype. Let's hear what the people really think. I'm standing here with Karen, who just had an amazing meal at the tree. So tell us, how great was it? <laughs> how great was what? The amazing meal you just had at the tree. You said it was greater than a thousand chocolate cakes. Uh, no, I, I didn't. There you have it, folks. The verdict is in. And the tree is guilty of deliciousness. So be honest. Was that not the greatest steak you've ever had? What steak? And who are you again? What is this for? There you have it, folks. The tree is the king of steaks. What's the tree? Sir, sir, may I have a word? Sir, sir, may I have a word? Hey, hey, what? Surely you had the time of your life at the tree, right? Absolutely, I've never felt so much joy. I can't even remember my kids' names right now. The tree is the greatest restaurant of all time. It's tremendous. <laughs> Hey, we see what you're doing and we don't like it, okay? What's not to like? The tree is the greatest restaurant of all time. People love it. There's no restaurant and you're just trying to fool your audience. <laughs> so what if I am? I'm just trying to make an honest living here. Just, just say you love the tree. No. Back to you, Katie. <laughs> hey, a nickel. Must be like five cents in here. Huh. Things you're picking up for the old Rickster? I should notify the press. First off, I'd like to thank you all for coming. <clears throat> uh, I know it's a short notice, but this news just couldn't wait. Yesterday I received a five cent inheritance from my dear Uncle Earth. This officially makes me the richest man on the planet. As of today, I denounce my birth name. From here on out, I shall be known as King Mammoth Man. Thank you for your time, and uh, no further questions, please. <sighs> Feels good to be king. Everyone treats you like royalty and answers your every command, including holding the door open for you. Ah, my loyal subject. Let me reward you for your loyalty. Ah, my humble abode, I grace thee with my royal presence. 
Ah, today's activities have sure left me parched. Should go for a refreshing drink to quench my thirst. Westchester, quench my thirst immediately. Westchester, where art thou? Solve my dilemma at once. I can't believe it. Being rich sure does make you realize how horrible normies really are. This is no time to take a nap. You're on mammoth time. And when the mammoth man wants something, he gets it. Forget it, I'll do it myself. I'm sorry for my outburst, Westchester. You've served me well over these past couple of minutes. Here, have a nickel for your loyalty. I could have sworn I had five cents here. Where did it go? It was that leech of a doorman. He took it. Where is he? He's gone. He's probably on his way to the Caribbean Islands right now, enjoying a vacation on on my wealth. It's over. No more Westchester. No more caviar dinners. No more king time. Life is over. Hey, they're shiny shoes for nickel. No? What about you, mammal? Shiny shoes just for nickel. Hey, what about you? Shiny shoes for nickel. Nickel's all you need to feel like a king. I was a king. Once. Here, just take this nickel and leave me alone. <laughs>